What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Collectibles. We got a little bit of catching up to do. <clears throat> so, uh, as it as it turns out, I well, so I've been on vacation. Um, I've been on vacation since last Thursday, Wednesday. Uh, just got back, and. Uh, in preparation for that, I uh, recorded, pre-recorded a couple of, of videos, banked a couple of videos, and um, you know, just to not leave you guys without any content. Um, and so, one of those videos just dropped yesterday or Monday, and it had to do with PSA's updates. Of uh, you know, they recently uh, kind of opened up value service all around. If you missed that video, you could I'll link it up top and. You can check it out, uh, but then as as it you know as it worked out, PSA put out another announcement. Uh, I'd say about four or five days ago, and it has to do with right here, eighteen dollars a card for the July National Special submit from home or drop off at the National. Um, so it's only to, it's only for the month of July. So you, you you got maybe like a couple more weeks left. Um, very interesting the timing of this. Obviously, um, you know the 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 national is coming up, or it's this week I think or something like that. Uh, I I'm not going. I I wish I could go, but you know, schedules are just just not quite working out the way they I would like for them to. But. Um, so th th there's a couple of things here, right? I think it's great that they're doing an eighteen dollar thing. Um, there's a lot of a lot of people uh, that are now like, "Hey, uh, eighteen dollars? That doesn't sound bad. I, I got some stuff that I could send." Um, but there's some really really hard restrictions on that eighteen dollars a card. Um, so let's go through those. Uh, so I'll pop those up right here, right there. Um, Limited time only, so it's only for the month of July. Exclusive to collective collector club members only. So you got to be a club, a collector club member uh, already. And I think it's like a hundred bucks to join or something like that. So, uh, okay. Uh, and then you have to do at least twenty cards minimum. So you're looking at what? Eighteen times twenty. So you're looking at a minimum of three hundred and sixty bucks, including shipping. That's going to be interesting. Um, declared value limit of 199. So declared value, remember, is the cost after the grade. So if you get a PSA 10 and the card's worth 300 bucks, you went over and you're going to get upcharged for it. Here is what I ultimately have a problem with. It's the 150 day estimated turnaround time. Some of you may be okay with that. So let, again, let's just kind of break it down. 150 days. That's about six months. Five, uh, five months. H how much do you guys trust that five month turnaround? Th those of you who are submitting in the comments down below, because you guys always you guys always tell me that I'm negative about PSA, but you tell me what I what is positive about this. They're not offering you guys anything new. They're basically still hoping that you'll still submit cards to them that are less than two hundred dollar declared value or ultimate value. But you're there are I mean they're telling you off the rip five month turnaround times. That's just I don't know, man. That, that that tells me that there's so much left to do in their backlog. You know, people talk crap about HGA, but HGA cleared their backlog. Now, I know we're not talking about a massive backlog like what PSA have, but it's all relative. It's all relative. And I don't know. I, I really don't want to not like PSA. But... Ever since they went private from being public, and I don't know, man. I always, I just kind of, I always just feel like 
I always just feel like they're just doing stuff because they know they can. And they know there's some of you out there that'll submit no matter what. No matter what they do. Um, but a 150-day turnaround. I mean, okay, I get it. You're paying 20 bucks. You're paying 18 bucks. But, I mean, in this case, CSG is a better... But again, you guys are always going to come back with the same thing, right? Resale value, resale value, resale value. Uh, just a bit of a heads up here. Resale value doesn't mean squat anymore because the market isn't what it was in 2019 and 2020, 2021. So, you know, resale value is one thing, but I just don't, I don't, I don't think that this is, this is anything to, to be happy about. I mean, it's great, whatever. If you look, if you are a if you are a guy who who loves their online registry or that what, what's it what's that thing called the yeah the registry right uh, and you want to make sets and you're making sets and all this stuff this is the type of thing that you've been waiting for and it's still eighteen dollars a card. Um, but I don't know, man. And then on top of all that. It's a twenty card minimum, so you got to spend at least three hundred fifty bucks more, closer to three sixty, three seventy, depending on um, shipping. But the declared value of one hundred and ninety nine dollars—that's the limit—and then the one hundred and fifty day turnaround, and then you have to hope that you get an accurate grade. If you want to stand by PSA, I get that. You're loyal to your company that that you like. More power to you. I respect. I respect the loyalty. I really do. But I don't care how loyal you are. You cannot come into the comment section and tell me that you that you fully believe that if you send your card to PSA right now, that you are 100% confident that you're going to get an accurate grade. Aside from all this other stuff, the 150-day turnaround, the $199 value fee limit, and the 20-card minimum, and on top of that, you got to be a member to do this. And then on top of that, there's a possibility, a very good one. The chances are you're not going to get a very accurate grade. I, I don't, I, I mean, what, for what? Resale value? For what, what, what's their, I mean, what, what's their resale value doing so much better than? For a card like this, resale value does not matter. For a card that's 199 bucks, resale value doesn't matter. It's minimal compared to SGC, compared to even CSG probably. The resale's probably half decent. I just, I don't know, man. Y'all know, know how I feel about PSA. But... When I made the video the other day or dropped the video the other day about, you know, the recent openings and stuff like that, the first comment that everybody was throwing out was, oh, I see you didn't talk about $18 a car. Well, listen, I recorded that video last Monday. Okay, so give me a break. I was on vacation. I was swimming on the beach with my babies. Um, yeah, so. I mean, it's good, great news, but. Nothing to shake a stick at, in my opinion. Nothing to write home about, as we say down here in Texas. That may be a southern thing. But ain't nothing to write home about. Anyway. All you PSA lovers, bring it. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why I'm crazy. Tell me why I'm crazy. I really am open to any logical conversation that you guys can, any logical points that you guys can put in the comment section, let's talk about it. Because this just does not make me feel good. Anywho, other than that, I hope you guys are doing great. Um, and we'll talk to you guys on the next video. Love y'all. As always, peace.